The parotid gland. To effectively palpate, it should be bilaterally palpated inferior and posterior to the body of the mandible. Place the palms of your hands in front of the ears, fingers extending the full length of the cheek. Use full circular compressions and test the tissue against the cheekbone. Sublingual salivary gland. It can be effectively palpated on the floor of the mouth posterior to each mandibular canine. One index finger will be intraoral while the other hand is extraoral. The sublingual salivary gland can be effectively palpated on the floor of the mouth posterior to each mandibular canine. One index finger would be intraoral while the other hand is extraoral, moving in a circular motion. Submandibular salivary glands. To effectively palpate, it should be bilaterally palpated inferior and posterior to the body of the mandible. You can locate the submandibular gland by finding the slight notch in the inferior border of the mandible. Place your fingers near the angle of the mandible. Slowly move the fingertips forward until you feel a depression in the mandible. Move your fingers under the jaw in preparation for the examination. Ask the client to press their tongue against the roof of their mouth. Uh, bilaterally press the glands upward against the newly tensed muscles.